Welcome back, sports fans. The Mercer Bears fresh off a midweek big win over Florida A&M. I say big because the 10-3 victory snapped a seven-game losing streak for the Bears after they started off the season 3-0. and And tonight, they're looking to continue their winning ways against visiting Marshall. The Bears welcome Marshall to town for a series after a late scratch from Xavier University. The Bears have two on in the bottom of two, but Raymond Pacella gets out of the jam with a pop to left. Mercer leaves two stranded. Top of three, Garrett Delano on the hill for the home team, and he sits down the batter with the inning-ending strikeout. Delano liked it so much, he finished off the fourth inning the exact same way. A get in there. Yeah, yeah, the strike zone belongs to number seven. Bottom of four, Bears threaten two runners on. Angelo Despina bunts a perfect bunt down the third baseline to load him up. And here's something I've never seen before on the next play. You call him Colby Thomas, I call him Colby Jack. There's a no doubter right there. That ball ain't gone. It's gone, gone. A grand slam to put Mercer on the board, four to nothing, but not so fast, my friend. Colby was so pumped up and excited, he was called out for running past Angelo Despina at first. So Thomas is out, and it's ruled a three-run home run instead. No harm, no foul. I'm sure he'll laugh about it one day, just not anytime soon. But meanwhile, Delano is still dialed in. He keeps things scoreless through five. Kid also had two hits and reached them base on the air to help out his own cause. He went seven innings, allowed only two hits, no runs, one walk, and 11 Ks. Oh, yeah, he got the win, too. Mercer on top, 3-1. to one. Bears in the herd return to action this Saturday at noon and wrap up the series on Sunday at Ortho Georgia Park at noon as well.